Andy, just take us through this data. A hundred serving police officers under investigation. Well, well, what our numbers showed is that 548 police officers are under investigation for sexual misconduct or domestic abuse, and that 144 of them continue to be on normal duties. Now, almost 100 of them left the force, and I'd like to know what's happening with them as well. But it, for me, Matt, it comes back to the very basics of policing by consent, that uh, police officers do what they do with the consent of the public, and that's based on trust. And these kind of figures just suggest that um, the low trust that we're, the force is experiencing, the men in particular, is is well-founded. I mentioned that you were a police officer your, yourself of, for 12 years, so you're very experienced yes. in what it's like inside the police force. Um, I know it wasn't with the Met, but does does this do these stories we've heard about the behaviour, the culture uh, within the police, does this ring true with your experience when you were an officer? Yes, so I joined in 1999, Lothian Borders Police, when I was 22. And I'm not going to pretend that as a young female officer, I don't recognise some of the behaviours eh, that have been reported here in the Met. And I think it's important to remember some of these behaviours aren't limited to the Met. There are 44 police forces across the UK. And, and even last week, eh, Police Scotland had eh, an incident relating to a WhatsApp group. I think what has changed things is that social media, WhatsApping, those groups where dare I say it, those with uh, poor behaviours and opinions can share those and that has kind of maybe developed some of the, the, the culture uh, that, that we are seeing and potentially makes that more difficult to root out. But for me, in terms of these figures, I want to know what the processes are that they might mm. use to make that assessment. And um, if they're making that assessment based on the fact that, well, frankly, they need bodies on the street, that's exactly the wrong end to be starting from. They've got to be taking the assessment around the around whether that person is appropriate to be on duty, the seriousness of the offence, and uh, you know, be considering suspension, whether that's appropriate or not.